click, I don't know. Why did I do that on the nose? I like it. You like it? Okay. Good morning. Hi, honey. Oh, missed you. Did you sleep good? Yeah? Got crazy morning hair. Oh, you want to put him up? Oh, oh bunny too? <laughs> okay. Just made a batch of my quinoa oatmeal. The recipe's on my website. I'm just gonna add some maple syrup and mix it all together. We're gonna go for a walk before yeah. the rain comes? Yeah. Okay. Cashew? <laughs> then we're gonna take Cashew a walk. Yeah, we're gonna take Cashew for a walk. You gonna walk? You need Cashew to walk. <laughs> Go give Cashew the stick. Cashew! This is a big stick. Cashew! Yeah! Cashew! Cashew! Jumping? Uh. <laughs> oh, are you hugging the tree? Hugging. Yeah, do you know trees give us oxygen? Welcome back to the vlog. I just got out of the shower. I'm just doing my skincare and I thought we would do a little get ready with me chit chat. Honestly, I feel like I've been neglecting my skin a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna give it some love in today's video and do kind of a mom spring reset. I have laundry to do. I have to go grocery shopping, get myself ready, <laughs> give my skin some love. I'm actually using the last little bit of my Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. Love this stuff. I've gone through like four bottles of it and it's just like soaks into the skin really quickly and brings in hydration. You want to do it when your skin is actually a little bit damp. So I should have done that a little bit sooner, but whatever. My skin is just so parched right now. I think it's like the weather has been changing so much. Like one week it's been so hot outside like summertime feeling then the next week it's like rainy and cold and my skin is just like not having it so we're gonna do all the hydration today just give me all the moisture right now also why am i so pale Ugh. i obviously did not take advantage of the bahamas enough and get enough sun but we went for a really nice hike or hike walk this morning with the girls and it was so fun sage loves being out in nature every day she's like walk 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 like she's just hanging out by the back door with like her sunglasses and like her new runners that i bought her and she's just like yeah let's go for her walk is like even just hanging out in the backyard because we have a a nice big open space let's get like a cc cream on <laughs> let's get some color on putting sunscreen on even though there's like no sun today one thing as a mom that always inspires me to take care of myself and get ready for the day is actually my mom and just growing up like my mom raised four of us and every day and it's like something I still remember as an adult now it's like every day she would always take time to like shower do her hair do her makeup and get dressed like she just always looked put together no matter what even though like the mornings were so hectic trying to get all four of us out the door and off to school she just like always like had her bangs and like rollers and just her hair was always so put together and I feel like I have one kid and I just feel like a mess half the time so I'm just like I always just think my mom did it with four of us and look like a rock star and that's like my inspiration sometimes <laughs> now being a mom is my mom and let me just brush up this hair oh my god we are not washing the hair today and I know when I get ready for the day I just feel better like my confidence is higher I feel like I'm more productive. I'm more awake. Like I just feel like less tired and more, like have more energy to do stuff. I don't know if that's just me, but it's like a mental thing. Let's just put this hair back for now. Also, I get a lot of questions about this robe. It's so old, it's from Target. And it's like my spring robe. I wear it in the spring and summer because it's really lightweight. I don't know, something about putting a robe on when you're getting ready just gets you in the mood. I have like an eyebrow appointment this week. I'm getting a wax done. I'm getting my nails done. I actually have my best friend's wedding coming up next weekend. And so I'm just like prepping myself for it. And it's just like prepping myself for the summertime too. And like the hot weather 
and just reminding myself to stop looking like a bum because I work from home. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. Honestly, my makeup routine is so simple, but it starts with my shower. And I really wanna talk about today's sponsor, Osea. You guys know I've been using their products for a couple of years now. I love them. Like I'm so picky with skincare and their line is something I keep going back to. And in the spirit of Mother's Day coming up, they're actually a mother-daughter female founded brand, which I think is really cool. They make cruelty free skin and body skincare, and they're on a mission to create clean seaweed infused skincare that respects the natural world and makes your skin look and feel its absolute best. Their products have some of the coolest ingredients. They smell delicious and they focus on like hydration and glowy and beautiful skin from within. And right now they have this limited edition Golden Glow Body Trio. Three beautiful products just in time for Mother's Day. It includes my all-time favorite, Undaria algae body oil this stuff smells so so good this is the jumbo bottle that i'm using right now probably like my third one of this stuff my skin just drinks this up i love it and i even have a little travel one that i brought with me to the bahamas and i can just like refill it love this stuff this stuff not only smells amazing but just makes your skin so soft and glowy and hydrated i absolutely love it and then a new product i've been trying is this beautiful anti-aging body balm. Being in my 30s, I am all about anything that says anti-aging. It softens the skin with a combination of passion fruit, coconut, acai, and basu oils. This stuff has such a like really fresh scent to it, but also like a really interesting texture. It just feels like it gives this protective layer and locks in like that oil and that hydration. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna put it on my legs. Even if you do like a nighttime shower, this before you go to bed, oh, you're just gonna be in like a moisture cocoon. And that's usually why I like to wear a robe after a shower because I like to do my moisturizer and then let it sit before I actually get dressed and ready for the day. So everything can just sink in. It also comes with this plant-based body brush, which this is something you're gonna do on dry skin before you go in the shower. And you're going to massage the skin and I kind of do like a circular upward motion. This is so good for just lifting off dead skin cells and just bringing some blood flow and circulation to your skin. This is so great in the morning before you hop in the shower. It's so invigorating and it just like wakens up your body and it just gets all that dead stuff off so you can hydrate after the shower and just really feel glowy and hydrated for the day. Also, you guys can use the code Nicole Golden to receive 10% off. I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box, so definitely check that out and just check out their amazing line of skincare and body care products. There's a face moisturizer I also love. I just ran out, I'll put a photo of it here. And the Hyaluronic C Serum that I'm like basically out of amazing i love those and they have so many awesome products so definitely go check them out and get your glow on <laughs> all right let's do a really quick skincare i actually have a mirror on the side because we have lots to do today also does anyone have any summer plans coming up i feel like everyone's going to europe <laughs> i'm like everyone plans things so far in advance i'm like i don't even know what i'm doing next weekend do you ever feel like some people are just so on top of it and you're just like trying to do your makeup for the day and look put together i actually have two weddings like kind of back to back they're like a month apart my cousin is getting married so i gotta still find a dress for that i i only got a dress so far for my best friend's wedding because it's sooner it's this weekend i was late on that one luckily my mom was like a champ once again moms are the best and she was so patient like we tried on like 50 dresses i've been trying this new brow like freeze stuff like i don't know why did i do that on the nose why <laughs> take that off i want to put my bronze on first before the blush but it's okay gotta get that tan on i also like to take my bronzer on my eyes um i've been trying out it's from anastasia Anastasia. And it's like their freeze, brow freeze styling gel. And the girl said like, just tap it. Don't go overboard. And it kind of makes your brows look like they're laminated. Which laminating your brows, I love the look, but it definitely gets expensive. And I just, I'm giving my brows a little break. So I am getting them done this week, but just a tint. I like to put it in and just let them sit for a bit. And then I go in after with my brow pencil and just like, fill them in. I feel like when I have my brows done, I look like a different person. I just look more alive, more awake. Let's do setting powder. I usually just do like under my eye and then forehead 
and nose, chin, everywhere. I'm honestly not even going anywhere today. I just feel like getting ready is gonna help me feel more productive and motivated to do my laundry, get groceries done. I have some emails to get through. It's actually Monday today. I don't know, I'm playing catch up from the weekend. <laughs> All right, brows and mascara is done. I'm gonna pop on a little lip balm and I'm gonna just do this lip color I've been really loving. This, I won't even mention it, this lipstick is discontinued, it's really sad. It's called Chai, it's like a brownie color. And then I just layer it with this lip oil, it's called Pink Beat by Merit. It's like a, like a lip oil gloss. I just put a little bit on. For my hair, I have this like styler from Dry Bar. So here are two new pieces I've recently bought. This one here is just like, it's kind of like a denim jacket shirt, but I'm gonna use it as like a spring jacket. It's so cute for layering. And then this piece here is like, like a shirt dress. Kind of has like a little like flared out skirt going on in the bottom, but I love the print. This is like not as much of a timeless piece, but I feel like the bold prints are really in right now. So I'll probably do this today with just like a white shirt underneath and some comfy pants. I don't know, honestly, most of my stuff is dirty right now, which is why we need to do laundry. I also got some shoes and I'm really excited about them. This pair is actually from Naturalizer, which I thought just like made grandma shoes. I don't know. They've revamped. They have really cute styles and these feel like clouds. They're just like a really cute, simple heel, nude. I'm doing a black dress. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see what my black dress looks like. It's really cute. And then this is from a brand I never heard of before. They're called Life Stride. Fun fact, my mom and I bought the same shoes and she was like, we should do a video of all the duplicates of like clothing items we have because we honestly have so many of the same things. When we go shopping together, we like fight over the same size and we're like, okay, we'll both get it. These shoes are so cute and so comfortable. Look at the bottoms. They're like rubber. You're not gonna slip around. And then I got a pair for Seiji because I feel like I can't go to the mall without buying something for her. It's, it's a toxic trait right now. <laughs> she actually needs summer running shoes. Look at how stinking cute these are. Uh, Skechers, what? This is their magical collection. They were $40 on sale, normally like 65. So cute. I bought her like matching rainbow sunglasses from Roots. I'm telling you though, the fact that I have my makeup and hair done first thing in the morning makes me very happy and like ready to take on the day. I like to hang up most of her clothes. I just feel like it's easier. And then the stuff I fold is mostly her pajamas and like bottoms and stuff that don't have a matching top. And then if I do have a matching set, I'll actually take the pants and just put them over the hanger. So it's together. Okay, I'm gonna put everything else away and then put in my load. All right, so I have everything folded in here. I like to do kind of like a little filing cabinet system so I can see all the matching pajamas. These are like pants and stuff. I actually have to go through this and take out stuff that's a little too small now, but that's for another day. And then I have all of her sweaters and matching outfits hung up here. Um, this is something that she got for Easter. I just have to make sure it actually fits her before I take the tags off and wash it. It's really cute, but toddlers are sometimes finicky on how things fit. So I always like to make sure Sage likes how it is before I wash it. So that is all good. Time to do my laundry. Okay, here's my situation. I have my whites, my lights, and in here, my darks. So I'm gonna do darks first and then try to finish all three piles by the end of today. Since our fridge is looking quite bare right now, I actually ordered in Indian last night. Got some garlic naan. This is a dal biryani rice, chicken biryani, I think that's how you say it, and then tandoori chicken. It was so good. So I'm gonna actually have this for lunch while I plan out my grocery list. I have a wax appointment, and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping right after, and then we'll get sage from daycare, and hopefully not have to eat up for dinner because we're gonna have groceries. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this, and hopefully I have time. What time is it? It's 1.30. My appointment's at 2.15. So I'm hoping I have time to eat this, make the grocery list, and then we'll go to the grocery store after my wax appointment. Okay, that lunch hit the spot. It was so good. You never wanna go grocery shopping hungry, so I'm glad I have a full belly. I'm working on my grocery list right now. Just thinking about things that we're out of 
and also what I wanna make this week. I think when we pick Sage up from daycare, I wanna make some granola with her and my raw chocolate chip cookie dough bites. She hasn't had those before, but I feel like she'd like them. We're starting to introduce chocolate now that she's like two and a half. I can always just like do some that don't have as much chocolate. Okay, so I have my list of like regular grocery store items and then bulk grocery store items from like Costco. Bananas never have too many bananas. Uh, let's get some melon. We're out of sliced bread. We need rolled oats. There's this green smoothie I always get from this local like smoothie spot and I need to just start making it at home. It's got kale, lemon, ginger, banana, avocado, which I have some frozen already. It has like a mix of everything. It's very green, but it's really good. And then I add in a scoop of vanilla protein and it hits the spot. Coconut milk, blackberries, Sage is obsessed with right now and raspberries because we go through a lot. Also, we've been barbecuing a lot. So I feel like if you have a protein and a veggie and a starch, you just like throw it on the grill or I'll roast the potatoes because I feel like those take a long time. But lately we've just been like throwing either sausages or chicken on the, on the grill and then like asparagus or peppers. Oh, we have the peppers. We should make some uh, stuffed bell peppers, mushrooms. I feel like I could also make meatballs to have with like a spaghetti night. Also looks like it's gonna rain. Yay, spring weather. <laughs> We're gonna sneak up on daddy. Oh, are you gonna hide? Daddy. She's hiding. Daddy. 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 Put on the counter. I'm gonna put this on the floor. I stop it. Uh, what's this? Bread? Okay. Bread? That, that's cheap up. That's cheap up. Cheap up. Ketchup. Uh, we got some sliced Ooh, bread. Chocolate. I'll open it. Also got this you can't one. Open that for mommy. This is one my mom's been eating since we were little too on the Mother's Day theme. It's a spelt bread with wild rice. Okay. These are so good. Midday square bars. These were on sale. I got some of these Amy's burritos, yogurt. Okay. Yeah, I got some organic Greek yogurt. And this one is made banana. with, uh, from grass fed banana. cows. Nina, banana. We got some cashew butter because we're going to do our chocolate chip cookie dough bites. It's kale. I hold it. You hold it? Daddy. Matt, look over. Shush. Daddy, do you got mushrooms. Mushrooms. Whoa. Carrots. Carrots. Good job. Okay, I got some organic ginger. I did it. Ginger. And then also a Mama G favorite. I did it. We love these. Sourdough rye crackers. Apple. Almond juice. We don't say the M word around here. And then also from the same brand, I got this French vanilla creamer. She loves putting things in bags and carrying them around the house. I also got a whole case of mangoes because they were on sale. I'm planning on making a batch of granola today. So we'll have some fresh mango, granola with the Greek yogurt. And that'll be like a nice like breakfast parfait to have this week. And then I have my ingredients to make my green smoothie. My plan for the mushrooms and carrots are just to grate them into some meatballs for like a pasta night. I also have some nice sourdough breadcrumbs that I got from a local bakery. So I can do that. I'm planning on doing stuffed peppers. Uh, we're gonna have to order some stuff from Costco as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put this all away and then we'll make some granola. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> These are the best ingredients. Like they, it's just fruit, no added nothing. She loves them and they come with a little card inside. She reminds me of eating fruit by the foot. Okay, take your time. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Muscle. Muscles? You want to try it? Okay. Oh my God, sake. I like it. You like it? Okay. 
All right, we're gonna make some granola. I like it. You like it? Okay. This recipe, sorry, this is not the best camera angle. This recipe is on my website. It's called Simple Granola. Adios. Hang on, hang on. Let's not, let's not double dip. Adios. Yeah, hang on. Okay, you can lick that. Here. Can you pour that into there? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. We're just gonna eyeball this. Looks like two tablespoons. And we need four tablespoons of almond butter. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna eyeball everything. <laughs> okay, um, it doesn't call for vanilla, but we're gonna add some in. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350, and then we're just going to warm this up on low just for it to melt together. That's what it looks like now. Whoa. So we, whoa, 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 you got sticky hands, hang on. You help? Perfect. Great. Um, yeah, right. hang on, hang on. You got to fill it up. Okay, go. This is coconut. Honey. Coconut. Can you do a little pinch of, you know what, mommy's gonna do this because your hands are so sticky right now. Yeah, good job. Usually you do the almonds whole, but Sage is gonna have some of this too, so I'm gonna chop up the almonds. Mix that up. Can you put that one in? Okay, can you put that in? Yeah. Thank you. Good job. And we're just gonna add in some flax. A couple tablespoons. Oh, that went everywhere. Okay, let's get, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, mom needs to. Yeah, good job. Mix, mix, mix. We mix, mix our granola. Mix. Okay, mommy will finish mixing. Bunny. Bunny's Bunny. gonna mix. Mix, mix, mix. Bunny's gonna mix. Oh, it smells good. It smell. And that's gonna bake, I think, for like 30 minutes. Now we wait. I have to clean up all the rolled oats on the floor. We're gonna vacuum them up and we're gonna play while our oats are baking in the oven. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I feel like I had a really productive day. Got laundry done, did some grocery shopping, got myself ready, and also making some granola for the week. It's little things like that that just make me feel better to start off the week. And I love that I can bring in Sage into those activities like making food, putting away groceries. Not only is it a great way to like watch her while I'm trying to get something done, but also it involves her and I feel like it teaches her so much. Even like, this is hot, be careful. When I opened up the oven, I said it's hot, move back, and she knows what hot means. It's just really fun to be able to do activities like this together and just see how fast she's like learning and her little mind is developing and she just like loves helping mom and dad. You might think laundry and cleaning and making food are boring things, but for little ones, a lot of times it can be a really fun activity and they don't know the difference of like a chore or playing. It's like all the same to them. So if you just make it fun, it's something that you can do together and then also be getting stuff done. Thanks again to Osea for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have my link down below for you guys. Use the code Nicole Golden to get 10% off. Check out the limited edition body trio set it's honestly such a gorgeous set to give to someone like a mama in your life even if that's you bye bye Mwah. 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 see you next time okay bye. see you next time mommy. mommy okay she's like yeah i'm bored of the camera okay i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.